You have just tuned in to the Mag Nerd Podcast. Your home for everything in music, anime, and games. What is up? Game. What is good, guys? Shown of the King here, back with another video. And today, I am bringing you a spicy, a sultry, a super thick, delicious harpy deck. My God, she is sexy. So, I have been in Duel Links trying to make harpies great again and i have to i have to say it's not been it's not been easy my boys uh the matches that i'm going to show you today are going to all be legend rank matches i got two spicy decks at the end of the video two spicy videos uh matches at the end of the video that showcase the full potential of this deck if you get the optimal hand so i uh, look forward to that again i'm enjoying the casey cup right now the gems are very plentiful. Uh, Konami is doing it big for the KC Cup right now. But without further ado, let's jump into the breakdown of this, of this deck. So, uh, as you can see here, I'm running uh, three Harpies Queen. I'm running uh, two Harpy Dancer. And I'm running two Harpy Lady One. Now, I will say um, the tech cards. I'm running a wind up juggler, and again, the reason why I'm running wind up juggler is because if he's on the field at the same time as Harpy Lady, wind up juggler goes to 1900 and can destroy cards like Blue Eyes or uh, Dark um, Magician Chaos or whatever the hell that damn card is that people would be using in Blue Eyes decks. I can't remember the name of it right now. I'm also using uh, Troposphere. If he is tribute summoned with a uh, winged beast monster, which I have 90% of, then it gets the effect that it's not affected by trap cards, which is actually very convenient. And a surprise card that people don't see coming is Armored B. Again, Armored B under the effects of Harpy Lady 1 gets a 300 boost, so it goes from 16 to 18. I'm sorry, to 19. God, quick math. Jesus Christ. So, again, as far as, like, the support cards are concerned, I realize that a lot of people are putting their cards in um, defense position now. So, I teched in a Nobleman of Crossout. Um, of course, I'm only running one Harpy's Hunting Ground uh, because, typically, you don't need more than one. Now, I do have, I have, like, multiple builds. I have a balanced build, which you're seeing right now, but I also have a build which is using Harpy's Hunting Ground. So I kind of switch it up depending on what the need is or what's been going on. A lot of times you um, want to start to match off with Harpy's Hunting Ground. The only down, the good and bad side to that is they know exactly what, what kind of deck you're using, what kind of strategy you're going for. So a lot of times they'll purposefully not put cards in the back row so that they won't have to worry about you dropping the Harpy's on them. Now... If you run it with balance, nine times out of ten, especially if you're playing in Legend, anybody that's using balance is typically using that with uh, either Dragoonity or nine times out of ten is going to actually be a D hero. So just to let you know. Of course, all the other cards are standard. I do run um, Two Wild Tornado. It's a really good opportunity if they have a big monster on their side and you have a Harpy in your hand. It's a good, and you'll see in some of the replays for that as well. So. I'm also running one Hysteric Party, obvious reasons. So uh, we'll pause for the calls and get to these replays. All right, we are back. Let's get into some of these replays. Like I said, um, right now I'm doing this deck and I'm also doing Dragoonities as well. Um, Dragoonities is gonna be probably out of the new box, the most powerful meta that's gonna be coming out of there. Black wings are garbage, and again, I'm really having fun with um, Harpy, so I'm trying to make them good. This is again all legend matches, and you'll see how this deck can handle eight heroes. thing you have to worry about with the heroes is that you don't want them to open up with a uh, mass change. If they have a mass change, it's going to be very hard for you to do what you're supposed to do. Back row was tight. 
I kept fearing the uh, mass change, so... And again, pretty much does the exact same thing to me twice. Defense. There's nothing for him to do. I finally got Harpy's Dancer, so it's time to dance all over that ass. She's my cherry pie. Tastes so good, man. Grow me a crown. Look at that. Pop two. Flip me up. And again, with D-Hero, with they really can't um, top deck that well. So that was his desperate attempt. Which didn't really help him. And that's what I'm telling you. People don't understand the power of Armored B. Armored B is an awesome card. Like, Armored B can pretty much take down the blue eyes. If you have armor B and just reduce their attack by half, there's 1500, baby. That thing is done. Alright, here we go on match two. Set Kaiba. It's not a bad hand. It's actually a really good hand. And, you went, and I went second. gems left and right. It's a good time to be a new one. So, this is a pretty quick one. Harpy Tun Ground. He goes to Vampire Kingdom. But look what happens. Look at this. Hysteric Party. Let's take care of that first. On hindsight, I should have went for the back row first before I went for the vampire castle one, but it's no big deal. Now I got protection in the back row, hit him for 24, and that back row is going to help me out because look what he draws. Of 
Russian hives go. Matchups that are this is the two optimal hands that you will see with the Harpy deck, and this is uh, two of my favorite matches that I've had with this deck so far. So stay tuned because if you blink, you'll miss it. This is my other build that I'm using with Harpy's Hunting Ground. This thing is so sexy. So he starts out pretty strong, with no back row. And then Coastal, you got me some background. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me pause it real quick. Let me let me just set this up for you. Look how sexy this is. Look how you already see what's about to happen to this motherfucker. Oh my lord, look at this. So I take out the armor B with blue eyes. Then he sets me up with the back row. So then, of course, I summon the Harpy's Queen. I already got the uh I already got the tornado in the back that I can take care of both. So, oh, it's just just watch. Get that. Now we get Egotist. Break out the booster. Take care of that. 99, 24. And AC. Goddamn. Goddamn. Harpy. Up. This is just a bonus one that I have that came from the KC Cup. Uh, this guy tried to pull out a Toon World deck on me. And I was like, boy, Toon World ain't been nothing since we can get rid of uh, Phil Cell. the Toon Kingdom, and you already see what's in my hands, so I'm just waiting. I'm like, I'm not going to do nothing. I'm not going to go for small damage. I'm going to wait until he plays it. If he plays it, he even gets magic reflect on it. But it's not going to matter. To Gemini Elf, and he brings out Summit School. But none of it's going to matter. Oh, let me be clear. And let me be clear. I was already good, number one, because I already had uh, the tornado set. I was going to set the tornado. It, just watch. Summon her again. The thickness. Again. Boom. Smack up. And again, let me be clear, guys. This was an optimal hand. Like, this is the perfect hand against this deck. So I was, like, destined to win. Then I hit him with the Nobleman across out, sacrifice for the Tropic Spear, and hit him with 26 exactly. Motherfucking game. Woo! Woo, this Harpy is thick. Alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, rate, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Showing off the king here. Have an awesome day.